Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and this is um, today's Mixed Media Monday piece that I'm doing um, for Heart Day um, inspired uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, it is the 13th, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so that this is one of the many um, Valentine's Day cards that I've pulled from the uh, color cube boxes so that I'd have a palette to work from. I already got debris on this one. Um, so I'd have a little bit of a color palette to work from and an idea of what I, what I might want to do. I don't normally draw food, but I thought this would be a fun little cute project for today. Uh, and I get to use all different kinds of mediums on it, which is, you know, always plus for me. Um, this is my base palette, but I'm of course going to mix it up as we go. I have out a bunch of tools, uh, and this month's um, pieces, a lot of them are going to be related to Valentine's Day because it's February, so the month, the whole month is kind of that um, genre or feel. Uh, just a little heads up. How do I want to start this? I have out um, over here Bombay India Ink in Black, and I have out the Liquitex in White because my Bombay India Ink in White dried up. The seal must have broke on it. It, it. So that's why I have out Liquitex ink, which is also almost gone. Um, I'm plowing through my inks for some reason. I have out my um, tube of Holbein Quinacridone Opera Pink that I have in here. I thought we could incorporate that maybe a little bit. I have out my granulating colors for, I want to use them in the background a little bit. Um, mo mostly the Galaxy Brown and possibly some of the purple. I don't know. We'll see how it goes in the black. They, they look really good on the paper. They look gritty. And I don't know how this paper is going to take watercolor. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I also have out some watercolor pencils to um, kind of help out with the strawberries. We might get into colored pencils as well. We'll see how it goes. I did sketch this out with a pencil. And I forgot that you can't really erase on this paper. So there's lots of scribble lines and we're just going to incorporate that into the piece. There's lots of graphite. We're just going to incorporate that into the piece. Um, yeah, the, it, it, any little bit of erasing, it doesn't really matter what eraser I use um, it, how, or how gently I apply it. It really damages the paper a lot. I got a little scuffy mark over here and some down here because I tried to soften that graphite but it's fine it's fine and I have a water and a spritzer tissues last cup of coffee for the day mm. Mm. love coffee all right I think I'm gonna start with the ink and and get the bowl in around the strawberries I'm just going to I put way too much white ink out, but I'll pour it back in if it doesn't dry between now and then. I'm going to go ahead and get my bowl in. Because the um, ink is an acrylic ink, it'll act as a resist for any other mediums that you put over it. Like I couldn't watercolor over the top of this. Um... So that's why I'm doing it first, to put it down in all the areas where I need it to be and not really stress about it. I need it to be kind of right way along this ridge. So I'm going to put down a little heavy application there. I'll scoot over here. Get in here and pull that around. Should I zoom in? I mean, I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you can see better what I'm doing. There we go. It just occurred to me that I, was, I zoomed out so you could see the table and all the supplies. And you probably don't need to see all the supplies more than you need to see what I'm actually 
doing on the page. We'll see how this paper takes all this medium, all these different mediums. All right, and then come down. I'm just going to incorporate that gray into the shadowing area right there. Why not? We'll rewrite the word love. It'll be fine. Kind of see it through this, this paint anyways, the acrylic ink. Might have to do a couple of coats to get it get things bright white in some areas, we'll see. There. Okay. Maybe I could have used a bigger paintbrush. See, I damaged the paper right there. It pilled up quite a bit. Be gentle. We'll just be gentle right I think overall I need to be gent pretty gentle with this pa paper unless I'm going to use like a pastel or something on it. The pastels seem to do really well and those gelato sticks do really well. The last few pieces I did on this paper though I used the gelato sticks and I wanted to break away from that a little bit this time. Those King Art gel sticks, they are pretty great. Super fun. They're like painting and drawing with a soft lipstick. They're, they're amazing. Recommend if you if you are thinking about it. No reason not to. I'm gonna take black. I'm gonna put a dollop of white here and just a touch of black. Ah, the black is so strong. All right, just a, just a dusting of black. Nope, more than a dusting apparently. There it is. I'll let it mix on the paper a little bit. There. Gently, softly. Push it up like that. To the edge. And pull it around like that. Soft gray in. So I don't think I can go over the the ink with um, colored pencil or anything. I mean, I'll test it. We'll see. If I need to, we'll give it a whirl. How we could get in the. Dark darks. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, I forgot the inside of the bowl over there. Do some more dark darks over here. Squat it on and let it mix on the page. And then down here. Do I think we need to go a little darker? Maybe I'll tap out here. And then we'll kind of, with water, smudge that a bit. And there is just the faintest, faintest little bit. Spin this so that I get my line right. Right through here. When the bowl, the whole bowl's at a tilt, so it's not going to be crisp white down here at all. The crispity white part is the that rim. 
right? Which we can come back in after it dries and, and crisp up even more. Let's put a little bit of white over here on the interior of this bowl that we missed. Well, we, I, I missed it. That. And take our gray or black and plop it in on that white and it creates that deep dark gray that we need on the side bowl over here. Kind of fun textures too. Like that. Good. Alright, there's our bowl so far. We'll let that dry. Oh, I almost dipped that in my coffee. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right, we'll let that dry. I'm going to come in and do a little bit of... I need a bigger paintbrush. I think I'm going to get the big guy. This is my Princeton Neptune round number 18. I'm going to dampen him. Hit him off really good. And then come in here with the, to this brown. The galaxy brown. that really moving around a little bit. Well, these galaxy colors, they, they um, granulate pretty good. So that's why I wanted to use them. I figured the galaxy brown, the galaxy paints on this textured paper would, it would just enhance the, the granulation. Oops. Sorry, we'll come back and fix that later. Kind of working around where I want things to be light, like that. The little candies that are I put on the table. I added a few things. I added some candies, um, just because I thought it'd be fun. Come in, go around here. That. Now this strawberry. Where those greens are gonna be. Like that. And just kind of come around the edge like this. And this paintbrush actually comes to a fairly decent point, so I can get right in there, and I don't have to switch brushes to get in the, the finer areas, which is really nice. That's where I made a, a mark on the page. You can see where you've damaged your page really, really clearly. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. We'll incorporate it somehow. It'll be fine. Oops. I'll put a little hard candy right there as well. Let's pull this this way. Grab a little more. Um, this brown has a bit of purple in it, which is why I chose it. Um, but I'm going to enhance that purple a little bit, I think. That purple tendency with some of the rose color here and there kind of like that like that you can get that in here on these shadowy bits just plop it right in why not all the way Hope that gray is bleeding out. Oopsie. It's fine. It'll be fine. A little bit there, a little bit there. And then... And then, how's it looking? A little muddy. It'll lighten as it dries, though. And then I'm going to use... Oh, it's got some chunks in it. What is, that, is this granulating? I don't think this pink granulates. But at any rate, I thought I'd go around the edge 
with the the brighter. It'll be muted on this paper because it's super neon in the bowl, right? But I thought we'd plop it in here and there and make it super bright on the edges of the heart and let it kind of bleed around a bit. Just for a more added crazy heart day interest, right? Pull that this way. Getting all kinds of carried away with it. But once we put the strawberries in, right? It might not be so crazy. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> and once again, it's going to dry a lot lighter, so... Not, not being too shy about it. I'll plop in some here and there. Just to... There we go. <laughs> Looks terrible right now. <laughs> felt that way about the macaroons though too. About halfway through I was like I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not digging this. <laughs> not interested. Alright, so we're gonna let this dry. And because they're granulating colors, your granulating colors don't do here I'll show you. They don't do this crazy breakup of granulation and show you that all their true beauty until they're dry. Usually you don't really, I mean, unless you have white paper and you, put, you use a heavy application, which I, I like to do, um, you're not gonna see the, the granulation effects right away. Could also go in here with a touch of salt here and there to kind of give us a little bit of additional textures. Why not, right? It'll also lighten up wherever you put the salt. Well, the salt basically absorbs the color and pushes the water away and creates a, a burst of light. It'll, it'll let the, the paper show through. I got a hair in there. I was just butting with, with my hair, sorry. But it's fun. It's interesting to put it on the page and just let it, let it do kind of go along the edges a little bit. Make it a mess. This is me making a mess, creating art. My traditional way of being. Okay. So we're going to leave it like this. And we're going to... I've got probably way too much salt on here. I'm going to leave it like this. And let it dry completely. And we'll come back. Very excited. That's a hot mess right now. <laughs> okay guys, our paper is super dry and the salt really didn't do much at all. Um, I think the paper's too textured really to, to have any kind of real effect. Kind of disappointing, but what are you gonna do? I'm going to go ahead and solidify my rim of my bowl here because it faded quite a lot. My ink got a little gloopy because it's like half dry, but that's all right. We're almost done with it anyways. Hopefully. All right. And then maybe... A little less gloopy. A little watered down. Come in and... Kind of soften the gray. A little bit. A little glaze of white right here. Kind of like 
that. I'll soften this a bit. And I grabbed my pastels because I think I'm going to, due to all the heavy texture, and I wanted some of, the, I was hoping some of this would smooth out a little bit. Um, I might go in and put a little pastel in the background to kind of smooth it a little bit. Make it look more like a, a table surface a little bit. Or at least have a softer glow. Okay. Next. What do I do next? Next. Let's. Drop in some pink on all of our berries. And I've already decided I'm going to go over the top of the berries for highlights with um, pastel for all the highlighted parts. So it's okay to go in here and drop in the, I don't want to do my green parts, strawberry color though, or, I mean pink. I don't want too much pastel on this piece. A touch here and there is okay, but I don't want the whole thing to be pastel. Okay. My to I think I, I think I need to buy a new toaster oven. <clears throat> Put some dinner in it for me, and I think it's popping it, making noise out there. <coughs> Sorry. I feel like I'm fighting a head cold. It's very distracting. Yeah, all of, all of this down here is berry. This is berry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go check on that. That's green right there, but this is berry right there. Here. There's a touch of green right there, but this is berry. That's berry. And there's green on the top of this one. Like that. A little bit there. Okay. Maybe not be afraid to on some pure color here and there. Okay, I have to go check that. It's it's clicking. I don't know what, what that means. Okay. Poor thing is getting used and abused apparently. <laughs> ah, that's alright. It'll be fine. Um, maybe this is a watercolor pencil, so maybe we'll splatter in some deep red. I'm kind of putting the deep red in on the shadow side. I'm leaving the pink part on the the um, the lighter side. Like that. These guys over here are pretty heavily shadowed. Just a little deep red. That kind of makes them look a little <clears throat> crazy. 
closing it, right? Still too much water. Alright, I'm gonna leave that alone. The, I forgot that if I work too too much in one area, it makes it, the paper pill a little bit. Alright. Oh, these strawberries. No. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let this dry again. And then I might take a heat tool to it just to move things along because this piece is taking a bit longer than I wanted it to. We need too much water. And I would put the colored pencil directly down on the paper, but the paper, whoops, does not take layers of colored pencil, like, at all. It does not like colored pencil layers. It's too delicate. It's way too delicate. I wonder... Ooh, splattering everywhere. I wonder if this will act as a resist if it dries and I put pastel over the top. Mm. Only one way to know. Kind of like how messy that looks. <clears throat> Just because this usually dries like a lacquer instead of a um, an ink. And oddly enough, the acrylic dries soft enough that I can put um, layers over it without really worrying about it too much. Okay. Now, I think... I think we're going to have some yellow and maybe, we need different colors in here for the candy hearts. Right? Maybe some yellow ones. Yellow and what? Mint green. That'd be like a crazy... Pastel green, or not pastel, that's not what I meant, um, I know, this is like leaf green light, it was more of a, a lime green, I'll put another lime green one over here, be careful not to press too hard though because it'll rip the paper, and then this one down here can be yellow, Yellow's going down pretty nice. And then... I'll do orange. I'll do a weird little orange one over here. Maybe this one can have a little orange on it. That's better. Okay. Candy hearts. Uh, those were, we'll just put those back away. And greens, okay, and then I really want to soften this background, make it a little 
visually gentle. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. So that kind of, yeah, that kind of tempers it a little bit. Um, maybe some lighter cream on the top of that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So not the whole thing, but definitely like larger chunks. Kind of fade it out into the other colors. Because I want that purpley color, those textures to peek through here and there. I don't mind this here. Is that too vibrant? I don't think so. I'll extend this down here a little bit. Soften it. There we go. Maybe because the strawberries are pretty textured, we can soften a bit of this side over here, maybe down through here, will that be enough? I think that might be pretty, oops, there's some dark color on that side, maybe down here. color on top to kind of mute that down a bit. There we go. I got all kinds of stuff going on this piece. <laughs> Talk about Mixed Media Monday. Woo! having fun, right? With this weird textured paper. Seeing what I can do on it. Oh yeah, that's much better. That, that kind of gentles things a little bit. Let's give this part a little, a little softness as well. Got my digit right in the paint of the strawberries. Get the carried away. How's that? Now that kind of softens things a little bit. It's less harsh. Okay. I really like this texture here, but I feel at the same time I feel like I need to fix it. I'm gonna leave it alone. We're just gonna let it be what it is. Maybe take a softer pink along these. Oh, that's too, that's too much. I don't like that. Maybe I could temper it with some white. Kind of make it more pastel. Not the whole side, not the whole thing, but maybe in some some sections. Or do we like the vibrancy? I feel like the vibrancy kind of clashes a little bit with the the strawberries. Maybe just soften some of it out a bit. Yeah, just in some spots, I think. Kind of smooth that out a bit. This, this section of the paper is pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, that's, that makes it a little less, 
It's a little less, yeah, I kind of like that. All right, we're doing it. Maybe this section can come in a little like that. Just around the edges of our heart. Come in there. Come in a bit right there. Skim on some whites while we're waiting for our strawberry area to dry a little bit. I was thinking the granulating color would look good on the paper. Hmm. Well, now I know. All right? Although it does look cool poking through the pastel. I dig that kind of a lot. Okay. There we go. I'll blend it in. How's that? Well, I kind of dig it. We're gonna let it be what it is. You are what you are. We still love you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a heat tool to the, these berries so we can get those done and move on with our evening. All right, moving on. Moving on, I'm going to use these pastels. Hopefully they won't tear up the paper too. Are you going to tear up the paper too much? Probably. Yep. Too harsh. Alright, let's grab... Let's grab this red. Put it on here. No, oh, I guess I don't need the pink. I have pink on here already. Touch of white. These are big old fat pastels too. They're not really meant for <laughs> getting in delicate areas. just looks like a red blob in the bowl, doesn't it? You know what? What will make it look better is a little bit of line art. A little bit of ink work, I think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in here and just... We're just going to block in the berries already. I'm going to have to do something about the... Um, The fact that it looks like a, a just a red blob in the bowl. Not quite working out the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. We will figure it out. Bigger than that. 
Okay. This one just has a bit of glow on it. Just have a little tiny bit of glow. Okay. Okay, I think what will help finish this up is... Let's see. I don't know if I should use brown or black. We'll just use black. Oh, I forgot about the green. Duh. I forgot about the green. I know this isn't right. Give, give me a little hot second. We'll put down the dark color first, like that. Let's see. Oh, there's a little bit right here peeking out there. And a little bit down across this guy peeking out there. Okay. And then we'll come over the top of that. Nope. With a little bit of bright here and there. Okay. Now we'll see. Let's see what this does. That makes it just weird. Er. Weirder than it already is. That's not going to work. I think it is with well, that teensy brush that I have. Where's that little teensy baby? Come here. I have the teensiest little baby brush in here. This guy. It's the smallest. Oh, there. Hold up. Ooh. It's the teensiest brush I've ever owned. I think it's meant for like models, like working on models and stuff. But, um,. We're gonna use it for this. We're gonna come in here and put in our strawberry dots right on top of pastel. And a touch of line art. You know what, what else would help is a bit of shadowing. Hmm. We'll do this first. One problem at a time. Right? Okay. Yeah, I know they they go in a way. I mean, I actually haven't ever drawn a strawberry. Like sat down and really painted or drawn done a study of a strawberry. <laughs> I'm winging it here. Where does going with it? Like I like I said, I don't really paint food. Maybe I should paint more food. It's definitely challenging because strawberries glisten and they reflect a lot of light. Kind of like I don't know, like a vase would or. Any other kind of plasticky surface? Do that. Dark spot. 
that's in the bowl between the berries. Duh. That carried away. I wasn't thinking clearly. Yeah, that makes it a little better. Okay. I'll come over here and put some dark shadow over here because this berry is pretty much covered by that one as far as light's concerned. And this one. Dry brushing for dramatic effect. I mean, it's not quite that dark, but it is darker down close to the berries. Gives the piece a little bit of depth. Dimensional. Mm -hmm. Come on. Down in here would be pretty dark. Kind of all along the edge of that one and then pull that up a little bit. There we go. How's that? Yeah, it's coming along. Slowly but surely. Anybody else bored? I'm a little bored with this one. It's A, not turning out the way I was expecting it to. B. <laughs> I've got too much going on on the page, I think, as far as mediums are concerned. I don't normally throw everything on the desk and just go crazy like this unless I've been a sketchbook. I feel like in a sketchbook, it's okay to go, you know, get a little reckless. But in, in an actual piece that you were, I was expecting to be a finished piece. Well, finished esque, right? Maybe not quite so. So crazy with the uh, the layers. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. All right, and then almost forgot about this berry. His little bottom is up this way, like that. And there's some shadowing on that guy. And then his little dots go this direction. Down here. Careless and haphazard. Like that. And a little shadowing over here. Messiest strawberries I've ever done. <laughs> Sorry. Tears were tears. Can come in here. Forgot about these guys over here. Forgot all about them. Anybody else looking at the video thinking, oh no, she's going to forget those ones? Probably. Softness up here. Maybe tamp down that weight a bit. Yeah, it's less in your face. There we go. Okay. Now, get these guys. Oops. Oh. Go to the dark green first, right? Yeah. I do a little dark green. And then a light green. On top like that. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
tell the cat I have that one. Oh well. Oh well. Not every piece you create can be a winner, right? I think I said that in my last video. The macaroons. Was that the last video I did? Maybe. Tinsy strawberries. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Take a little drink. It's a little too dark, but that's alright. I'm gonna come in, come in with some chalk and soften that a little bit. Alright. Okay. Last touch is gonna be I guess this soft gray maybe. Let's try it. Let's try it over here. Oh. I wish I had a deep dark red like this would be ideal but it's too harsh. Yeah, it just it doesn't want to go down on the paper. Let's see. Maybe... Yeah, that's not going to work either. Maybe I just need to stop. What do you guys think? Should I just give it a rest already? Perhaps... See, these, these soft ones, there's not a big selection of colors. What are you? Something cool gray, maybe? Maybe. Just to dot in and kind of give us a little bit of shadow on the one side of our little Strawberries, it's definitely not in the light. Kind of like that, just gently, gently. Well, this whole section's kind of in the, in the dark, but that's okay. Maybe what's well, this side? And then just a little bit of this. And some down in here. On this side of this guy. Alright, well. Definitely making the strawberries look more individual. There. This guy is back in there. That guy is back that way. Okay. Alright. I think we need to be done messing with this. Because, cause, yeah. I think, I think this is as good as this one's getting. She says as she continues. To lay stuff down on the page like a crazy woman. I just can't stop. Yeah, I was going to see if this would kind of be like a resist. Oh, you know what we can do though. Hold on. Alright. Soften that down just a touch. Okay. And then just take a wet brush. Less all the water. And kind of brush away the chalk on the letters. Like that. Carried away. 
see what happens. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I've I've gone gone off the rails with this one, you guys. We've gone off the rails. This berry. These guys are throwing shadows in this direction. This direction. Oops. That's all right. This guy. Shadowing off in that direction. That definitely gives it some... Puts it down on the page, right? Puts them all down on the page. Huh. Amazing what little shadows can do for you, right? Am I right? I lost this shadow on the edge of this bowl right here altogether. Between the, the base and the... There we go. Alright. That's as good as this guy's getting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that you're not discouraged with the peas. What do you guys think? I think it's crazy. Here's a little up, up close and personal. All of our textures on the page. It feels like an impressionistic oil piece or something. It feels like I got in here with oils is what it looks like. And just kind of went crazy. Those look like butterflies. Instead of candy hearts. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, that's fun. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.